couple of hours ago, I was on a radio show. And I had a pretty good discussion with a couple of people on that radio show if you looked at one of the previous videos that I posted up earlier. But one thing that came to mind is one of these guys that has been waiting to debate me for so long, waiting to have a discussion, pretty much saying, well, this guy is afraid of me and that's why he won't debate me. Pretty much had proven my points on why I choose not to debate you. Because when you ask these Negroes some simple questions and I ask this Negro, what was your overall issue with me or what compelled you to make videos saying some of the things that you said about me, even though I've never, I've never had an issue with you. This Negro could not even think of one legitimate reason. And I sat back and I listened to him pussyfoot and dilly dally and, and, and backpedal all over the place. And this is a grown ass man who says that other people are afraid to debate him. No, the reason why I don't debate you is because you're flat out fucking stupid. And when I listen to some of these black men, it becomes very sad on where they stand. You can tell just by having a discussion with them that they ain't have no damn dad in their damn life. And when you listen to them, and like I said before, since they can't debate what you're saying word for word or even give you one valid answer, the brother, if he had given me one answer, if this Negro had given me an answer, whether I liked it or whether I didn't, I would have said, okay, fine, that's fine by me. But he couldn't give me that one. He couldn't even remember what the hell took place, but yet countless videos he has made about me. You know, when people listen to my videos, they say I run with the same rhetoric as other people. That you're always quick to defend racist white people and I have, I'm still waiting on someone or I'm waiting on someone to show me a link of a video that I'm actually defending someone that is racist. Because I've stated my position very clear time and time again. That's another reason why I take the time to make the video so long because I know I got to make it real thorough and break it down for a lot of slow stupid ass people out here that want to run with something else. And since y'all can't engage the substance of the matter, what y'all do is try to find little things that y'all can run with. And still, when you do this shit, you make yourself look ridiculous. And the saddest part is this is coming from, at least on two different occasions, I've dealt with older black men that find themselves in this scenario. And when they find themselves being checkmated, every corner that they try to weasel their little way out of, since they don't have one answer, one logical reason, one thing of any substance to say, okay, you know what, I, I see your point. Then what these Negroes turn out and do is they run with the same thing. And this is what shows you that you're dealing with someone that has a, a, a failed argument. Is that they say, well, you know, then you, you don't have any solutions. What's the solutions? And once again, if you want to know why black men find themselves in situations where people don't respect them, society doesn't take them seriously, it's not because of the color of your skin. I've been trying to say this for the longest. The reason why people don't take you seriously is because you are comfortable remaining as a second class citizen. You are comfortable being at the mercy of society and civilization. And then you wonder why you're at someone else's mercy. It's pretty damn simple. And what I try to tell these Negroes, I try to explain to grown ass fucking black men, stop sitting around and expecting somebody else to do for you. And I got to run with something that Azriel the One said in this radio show. That is very sad when you have grown ass fucking men. In this case, this brother is at least by six, seven years older than me. I'm going on 31 within a couple of weeks. And this brother here is talking about you don't offer solutions. A grown ass man with fucking children. Asking a younger man for fucking solutions. I mean, Negro, at what point in time do you get up and do for your fucking self? And don't come to me with no bullshit that you can't do it. Because you have classic examples of black men who actually do this. The same guy I was on the radio that was hosting that radio, radio show is an example of this. Regardless of whatever people think of his background history. I know plenty of black men who have actually gone out there and done for self. So y'all can't run with that rhetoric. No, no, that doesn't make any goddamn sense. But this is what these brothers are running around saying, where's the solution? And I've heard all the brothers, and some of them probably in their damn 60s, making video responses to it. Where's the solution?
solution. You get no solution. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. That shit is a weak ass argument. You Negroes are fucking weak with that bullshit. At what point in time do you stop looking for goddamn handouts? And I give you a simple fucking example. Because as long as you're comfortable running around looking for handouts from somebody else, you ain't never going to reach your maximum potential, ever. And it's pretty simple. Because if we're dealing with a homeless man and a homeless man constantly comes to me asking me for money or for food, and I give him food, and he remains comfortable waiting for me to come give him a handout. At any point in time, tell me, if that man never decides to step up on his own and do something for himself, is he ever going to even remotely come close to my level? Yeah, I'm giving you a handout, but you ain't never going to be on the same level as me. Damn sure you won't surpass me. That's just a fact. But this is the same analogy when it comes down to you weak, lame-ass Negroes that are desperate for attention of other men, and most of y'all need a damn dad in your fucking lives. Because when you can't even answer simple questions, and then you want to run around saying, well, you know, you know, all you're doing is making response videos, and you're like hypocrites. Wait a second, it's easily, uh, you can easily combat that argument, because if you classify these as response videos, these videos would have never even came into play, had y'all not made countless videos talking about these people, including myself. So, at what point in time does your argument hold weight? This is the problem with black men. Is they're comfortable sitting around asking for handouts. This is why they try to tell you, well, going out there doing something for yourself is a bad thing. This is why they sit around run or wondering why society don't take them seriously and the only excuse they can run with is they don't like me because I'm black. They don't like you because you're fucking stupid. That's why this happens. Because you're comfortable being at the mercy of somebody else. Black men can't, can't uh, sit around and complain that we don't have black superheroes in these movies or in these cartoons But at the end of the goddamn day, we don't own a fucking production company Like I said, you ain't never gonna be on their level as long as you ain't got shit That's the only way you're gonna get taken seriously is to have something The sooner you accomplish something, the sooner you have a business, a monopoly Something that puts you on a map, on a pedestal where you can be respected Where you don't have to sit around asking other people for fucking handouts That's when you now can go ahead and, and produce your own superheroes That's when you don't have to sit around asking, what's the solution? Give me a solution That shit is fucking weak But this is coming from grown ass fucking men That just won't get the point and this is the reason why it becomes pointless for me to debate some of y'all. Because now, at, at what point in time do you wake up and, and get out of that fucking mindset? Y'all are comfortable remaining victims. And this is why society treats you the way it does. No one can take you serious at this point in time. And if you're that comfortable remaining a victim, the next thing that's going to be seek to be done is to take advantage of you. Shit, what can we get out of these Negroes since they won't do for self? What can we get out of them? What can we make happen with them? Let's pimp these Negroes. And that's what happens. And it's not all black men. It's not all black people. You have fine examples, but unfortunately, the ones who actually go ahead and do something with themselves, they have to get away from black folks. They can't be around this mindset because your average black man thinks like this. Your average black man Deals with emotion. This is why they can't solve a problem. This is another reason why when a black teenager is shot down by a white guy, they deal with the fact, oh, it's just uh, uh, it's racism. No, instead of trying to deal with the facts, let me see the evidence. Let's see what took place. How come we couldn't get this guy on the witness stand? What the fuck is going on here? No, what they sit and deal with and harbor over, it's racism. And this is why you can't get shit done. I've told y'all this before, man. Life is constantly evolving. The world is constantly changing. But many of you Negroes find yourselves remaining stuck in the same position. And then you wonder why technology, intelligence, everything leapfrogs past you. And you're sitting there looking stupid, scratching your head. Where the hell am I at? Which way did he go, George? Because you won't figure this shit out. You won't man the fuck up. And stop being comfortable being a goddamn victim. You damn right every chance I get, I'm going to be one of the harshest critics on black people. Especially black men. Because black men are too comfortable with people be giving them passes, being nice to them. No, life ain't nice. The world ain't going to be nice to you. You're going to have a whole lot of shit you're going to deal with that you ain't going to be comfortable with. 
And if you don't know how to do that, and this is what a father is supposed to teach their damn children. As you get older, you're going to go through challenges. You got to man the fuck up and weather that goddamn storm and do what you got to do and know that you're going to come out on top. This is how a man deals with shit. Not sitting around, I want a solution, I want a solution. Grown ass fucking men asking people that they have fucking got years over. For fucking solutions. That don't make no damn sense, man. Negro, get off your goddamn ass and do something for your black ass self. Stop sitting here worrying about some names that I call people. At the end of the goddamn day, these words don't affect no fucking body. They're fucking words. This is how y'all deal with shit. With emotion. And at the end of the goddamn day, this is the only way you're going to learn. If you're trying to become a stronger individual, you ain't going to gain strength by not exercising. You ain't going to be able to bench press a 200 pound uh, 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 bench bar with dumbbells on, or, or with uh, weight plates on it if you ain't never got underneath that damn rack and lift that shit. You ain't going to get any stronger. So the only way you're going to get stronger and learn how to deal with shit, I'm going to make it perfectly clear what my overall agenda here is on YouTube and why I use the language that I use. Because I want a lot of you Negroes to stop being so fucking sensitive to what I say. Stop being so fucking sensitive to words that I use. But if I call somebody a monkey, guess what? Is it a, a term that racist white people have used in the past and possibly st or still do to this day? Yes. But the word itself is not a racist word. It's not. It's the name of an animal. That's all it is. But black people take it so harsh. I mean, at the end of the goddamn day, it's pretty simple. If you can't deal with that shit, if you can't deal with a YouTube video that somebody makes, if that gets under your skin and gets you so bent out of shape, how the fuck do you deal with life? Y'all talk about white racism and all this stuff goes on. I mean, if you're working on a, on a, a good paying job or you're dealing with predominantly white people, and we're going to have to conclude that some of these motherfuckers are going to want to get your black ass fired. And if you allow little words that they can say to you to get you to snap, go putting hands on people, Knocking stuff over, acting like a blatant buffoon at the end of the damn day. Listen, let me tell you something. They done made your fucking day. They decide what, how you're going to act that day, how you're going to think, uh, or what you're going to do, how you're going to handle shit. They determine your fucking mood. And what I'm trying to teach you Negroes when it comes down to what I do in my videos, stop letting shit like this make your day. Stop letting other people who have nothing to do with you be the determining factor in your fucking life. To the point where y'all get so fucking upset behind somebody's opinion that you literally let this shit take uh, effect in your goddamn day. Because if you can't deal with some videos on YouTube, then how the hell do you deal with everything else that's going to take place in life? You're going to come across some real foul fucked up shit. And you start to learn this as a child when you deal with other children, when you deal with or experience being bullied and picked on and you learn how to stand up and fight for your damn self. And as you get older, then you learn how to deal with situations and outsmart people. I'm trying to teach you Negro something in these videos. Y'all don't, y'all might not like what I say. Y'all might not like my delivery, but no, I'm not going to sit here and tone it down and be nice to y'all so y'all can get used to people patting y'all on your ass. No, you don't get stronger like that. You remain dumbed down and stupid. This is another reason why black men are so fucking far behind. And the fact that you have black women that find themselves picking their shit up, getting educations, and going on about their fucking business, leaving your black asses behind, that should be something that tells you something. The fact that you got so many black women here on YouTube that make videos professional, hey, shit, I want me a white guy. That should tell your black ass something. Negro, stop dealing with emotions. Somebody's YouTube video is not taking effect in your day. It should never be that fucking serious. And if you Negroes can't figure that shit out, if you can't get past this little small, this shouldn't even be a damn pebble. You couldn't even call this a roadblock or a hump on a road. And you can't even deal with this, but yet and still you Negroes think you got the mental capacity to deal with the ongoing legacy of slavery, white supremacy, and you have to understand one thing about this whole system. That there have been some sophisticated mindsets that have put this shit in the play. And they got so many ways of working you, you don't even see it. You don't even know what goes on. You think you got an idea, but you really don't. Because you can't comprehend it. Because you're too busy dealing with emotions. So you can't even see the goddamn facts. <laughs>
I don't know what else to say to you, Nick Rose. I really don't know. I'm hoping that one day y'all gonna get what I'm saying to y'all. But until then, you know, I'm gonna end this. Because if you watched my channel before, you realize my channel is in the defense of those who think logic and those who make sense. <laughs> and if he had given me one answer, if this Negro had given me an answer, whether I liked it or whether I didn't, I would have said, okay, fine, that's fine by me. But he couldn't give me that one. He couldn't even remember what the hell took place, but yet countless videos he has made about me. You know, when people listen to my videos, they say I run with the same rhetoric as other people. That you're always quick to, to debate him. No, the reason why I don't debate you is because you're flat out fucking stupid. And when I listen to some of these black men, it becomes very sad on where they stand. You can tell just by having a discussion with them that they ain't have no damn dad in their damn life. And when you listen to them, and like I said before, since they can't debate what you're saying word for word or even give you one valid answer, the brother. But one thing that came to mind is one of these guys that has been waiting to debate me for so long, waiting to have a discussion, pretty much saying, well, this guy is afraid of me and that's why he won't debate me. Pretty much had proven my points on why I choose not to debate you. Because when you ask these Negroes some simple questions and I ask this Negro, what was your overall issue with me or what compelled you to make videos saying some of the things that you said about me, even though I've never, I've never had an issue with you. This Negro could not even think of one legitimate reason. And I sat back and I listened to him pussyfoot and dilly-dally and, and, and backpedal all over the place. And this is a grown-ass man who says that other people are afraid. A couple of hours ago, I was on a radio show, and I had a pretty good discussion with a couple of people on that radio show, if you looked at one of the previous videos that I posted up earlier.